Very good question. Um, well, the, as I said at the beginning, um, Sikhism is a, is a spiritual faith. So it's not a faith that asks you to believe anything, but more a faith that gives you a path of experiencing God. So if it's a, if it, hmm, it's like a science. The Guru actually describes spirituality as a science. So I don't know if you've ever seen yogurt, or, or let's say butter. Butter is made from yogurt, which is made from milk. But you can't show the butter to someone when you give them a glass of milk. You can't say the milk made the butter. You can't see it, but you know the science led to that. And, and in the same way, somebody who is enlightened, or somebody who's gone through the experience of God, is somebody who's like a mute with some sweets. They can't say the sweet is tasty, but they can just smile. Right? And they can say, yeah, there's something there inside me and inside all of us that allows us to connect to God. And we believe in this, that up here, there's actually a, a spiritual center, which is called the 10th gate, um, that allows someone to experience the divine. Now, how can we use the scriptures to strengthen our motivation to follow that path till the point where we experience the divine? Once the experience has come inside us, no one needs to tell you anything. Bang. You're in, in bliss. You're experiencing God inside you. Now, uh, there's two things that people raise. Firstly, how do the scriptures help? The scriptures help because all the gurus, the six of them, that are inside the Guru and Sahib Ji, and all the other ones that didn't write, but they obviously affirmed it, they point to the truth of that. And they lived great lives. You know, the, the Guru Nanak Ji lived a life where he traveled the world preaching about peace and oneness. And then came back and set and, and created Sikhs that followed that way. The fifth guru created this text that added people of different faiths. Made the temple that I talked about earlier. That had four doors. Welcome everybody. They gave equal, equality to women. Um, they made women preachers. Um, they, uh, the sixth guru made a mosque. There were some, uh, some Muslims that didn't have the money for a mosque. And he made a mosque. Uh, the ninth guru gave his life to save Hinduism. He was beheaded in India in 1675 in Delhi, right outside the Red Fort, if you've ever been there. Um, and that was purely because the Hindu faith, the pundits of Kashmir, they were being forcibly converted to Islam. And they came to him for help. And he put himself out there to save them. And for that he gave his life. Um, just So the gurus lived these amazing lives. And then all the texts, all the people that are also inside Guru Granth Sahib Ji, Nam Dev Ji, Sheikh Farid, they're all from different traditions, but they all say the same truth. That inside you is this experience of God. It's very powerful. And I can see that experience reflected in every faith. I can read, you know, uh, Lady Julian of Norwich talking about her revelation of divine love. I can, I can read about uh, Rumi. I can read, um, you know, uh, uh, somebody like um, St. Francis of Assisi. And, and you can see that they're connected to the same truth, the same divine experience inside all of us. And that gives me, well, now that I've had the experience, it gives me confirmation that it's everywhere. But if, let's say, we hadn't had that experience, it should give you the idea that, well, if all these people are doing it, it's a bit like in the world of the blind, you need to follow people who can see. And they're, they're the people that can actually see God inside them. So all the saints, we worship, we, we follow all the saints, not just one, all of them. And they all talk about the same thing. Um, so that's the first thing. And the second thing is, that helps us to think we're not going mad when we have that experience. <laughs> yeah, Because when that experience is a bit mind-blowing, can be a bit overwhelming, and you think, am I going nuts? And people say, are you hallucinating? What's going on? And then again, the fact that there's all these sensible people that did great things, who are talking the same thing, um, are in, well, in our scripture, but they're everywhere. Um, that confirms to you that you're not going mad. There is God. Yeah? <laughs> it just happens to be true Although the world doesn't believe it It happens to be true um, And it's inside you And you can connect And then voila There is your faith <laughs>